So I was just casually wasting my time, as I usually do, and I suddenly thought to myself, you know what would pair really well with a Super Mario game? Finance. Yeah, definitely finance. In an effort to make a finance-related video that will 100% skyrocket my CPM on YouTube and get all the views, I decided to memorize something finance-related using Super Mario Odyssey, one of the greatest games of all time. Have I said finance enough? Finance. 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 You hear that, YouTube? Finance. Finance. All kidding aside, the real purpose of this video is to show you how I went about memorizing one of the categories of data from last year's memory championship, specifically for the long term event, all while using a fun and creative video game memory palace. In the past, I've talked about using video games for memory palaces, but this is a different type of data and it is a little bit more complex. I like video games. I love Super Mario. I've done this before with a few other things that I've memorized where I've used video games to store data. Today is no different, except we're gonna use a different game. We are going to use a level or a few levels as a memory palace to store all this crazy data. So in the words of Mario, Let's go. in the words of Chris Pratt, <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so before we dive in, let's talk about what the data actually is. This is from the 2022 USA Memory Championship, one of the events they ask you to memorize things for the long term. It's a big amount of data, and there were three categories. One was wrestling data. No, thank you. The second one was shuttle launch dates and numbers and all that jazz. Pretty cool but also no thanks. The third one was finance related, which was the Fortune 99 companies for 2022. All right, back inside. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is what the data actually looks like. Now, one of the first things that I will do when I look at something like this, right? There's lots of data here, right? There's essentially a hundred different rows with five components to it. But some components are trickier than other, right? There's some numbers and then even the state and the, the city and the state of the headquarters is arguably two pieces of information. So at least 500 pieces of information, however you wanna look at this. So what I'll do first here is just kind of see like, what do I really need to memorize? Company names, I don't happen to know any, I mean, I know some of these company names, but I don't know their position in this 99 list. So that's something I gotta learn. Now the sector, I pretty much know these, like Walmart is retail, Amazon is retail, Apple is technology, ExxonMobil is energy. All these make sense to me. That's something I could maybe skip over. Headquarters, you know, these are cities and states. Not all of these, but most of these, I probably can look at the city and then know the state. It's gonna be a US state, okay? That makes that easier. And then for the number of employees and the gross revenue, they're all in the thousands at least from single digit thousands to hundred digit thousands. And then there's only two Walmart and Amazon that have in the millions. So maybe I can just forget about memorizing the three zeros at the end uh, and just memorize the front number. Cool, that'll make my life easier because then I'm just memorizing either a three or two or one digit number for number of employees. Then for gross revenue, all of these have a B at the end of them for billion. $100 billion. And in front of it is a three digit number or three or two digit number. Perfect. So I have a two digit, three digit system. So even these last two columns, I could probably actually combine as two different people or objects that I have uh, for my three slash two digit system. Cool. So now that I have the, the lay of the land, let's fire up the switch and kind of decide what memory palace we're going to use and how we're going to translate this into that. Turning it on. I love this game. In the right place to move. In the right place with you. Always stay up all night. Watch the neon light. So first thing we gotta decide is what kingdom we're gonna use as our memory palace. Now I love all of these ones, but I think the coolest one and the most intuitive would be to use Metro Kingdom, which is the one that looks like a city. It's got buildings, it's got cars, and looks like New York City. So I'm gonna choose that one. All right, here we are. All right, so looking at this list again, there's a lot of data I have to memorize. I wanna start with the simplest thing I can, which is essentially just the list of companies. I can lay down all the companies and then layer on all the individual 
extra things, the headquarters, the number of employees, and the gross revenue. Again, the sector, I'm not worrying about because I'll just know that. Now, 100 things here, 99 things is a lot. So the way I like to do it, just do it in chunk sizes. So I'm gonna look at maybe every 10 and just have little areas that encapsulate 10 items at a time. And what I'll do is, you know, I'm not gonna go through the whole map here and decide what all 100 are. You can do that if you want, but I like to get going, right? I like to maybe just look at the first 10 and then memorize the first 10 and kind of get that down and then work on the next 10 and the next 10. And that's a lot more manageable than saying, shoot, I gotta memorize 100 things in order right now, right? I can do 10 things, that's easy. And you kind of trick yourself into that. Plus it's nice to kind of compartmentalize different areas of this massive memory palace. That way it doesn't feel so overwhelming. Okay, so let's, let's dive right in. I'm right here by the Odyssey, right? So this will be my first location. Then maybe I come down the stairs here and this area right here could be location number two. This other side of this, I guess, helicopter pad could be number three. Four could be this ramp. Let's maybe head over here. We have Luigi over here. He could be number five, okay? Number six could be this platform here. Maybe seven could be Toad over here. Eight could be, um, yeah, eight could be right here, I think, on this grating here. Number nine could be this random dude just chilling there. Okay, and then finally we make our way to the top. Okay, some points. Uh, this could be number 10. Okay, now that we have the first 10 locations picked out, and this is typically what I'll do when I'm trying to memorize something, is I'll start small and choose the locations. Now we're gonna place the images there. So let's go back into the game one by one and come up with the image that's gonna be there. Follow along if you wanna try to memorize at least the first 10. Walmart, okay, here I am. So my image, again, I try to incorporate some kind of vivid imagery that represents the name of the thing I'm memorizing and attaching it to the location that I put it. Maybe I want to imagine that inside the Odyssey, if I were to open this door, inside there is a Walmart, right? If I were to look in there, there'd be clothes hanging, there'd be video games and food and toys and all that stuff that sells at Walmart, but it's inside the Odyssey, simple as that. I come down here, the next one is Amazon. I think Amazon, I think of all of the Amazon delivery boxes that my wife orders and leaves at the front door. So I can imagine a stack of Amazon boxes just right here. Next we have Apple. I'm just gonna picture a big Apple. Here on this grading, this ramp here, we have the next one, which is CVS Health. Okay, CVS I know is a kind of a drugstore here in the US. So maybe inside these kind of look like these grading things could open. Uh, maybe it's a storage facility for uh, drugs, right, and healthcare stuff. So it'll help me remember that this is like a CVS health, CVS health. All right, then we go to Luigi over here. This is number five. We have United Health Group. Okay, all right, so I might have to think something about his balloons being united together and they're like united as a group. And uh, I don't know, maybe Luigi's just really healthy because the balloons kind of keep him afloat. So United Health Group. Over here, number six would be Exxon Mobil. So up on here, maybe attached to this lightning bolt thing is a gas pump. And I think it's like an Exxon uh, or a Mobil, right? Where you can get gas there. Toad is Berkshire Hathaway. That makes me think immediately of Warren Buffett. So maybe he's reading this pamphlet <laughs> Uh, about how to get rich uh, or get wealthy, uh, written by Warren Buffett. Then up here we have alphabet. So I'm just gonna literally imagine a few of the letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, just strewn upon that grading. All right, then this guy, we have McKesson Corporation. But McKesson, McKess, Kess, sounds, sounds kind of like case. So maybe he's got a briefcase and he's going to work. He works for a corporation. Uh, or it also sounds like you're kissing. So maybe he's kissing his briefcase and he's working for a corporation. And then finally up here, number 10 is Amerisource Bergen. Okay, so maybe underneath this tarp is something really American. Maybe it's, there's a big hamburger. Sounds kind of like Bergen, right? So it's the source of this American burger underneath this tarp, Amerisource Bergen. All right, it's fun and all to watch me memorize stuff, but how did you do? See if you can name them all by yourself. I'll put a little test here. Also, don't forget, finance.
All right, how'd you do? If you didn't do so well, you can go back and review. And usually the reason why something doesn't stick is because you didn't come up with an image that was strong enough with enough color and life and vitality. I'm giving examples, but maybe they don't suit you. You should go back and do it in a way that works for your way of thinking. Okay, so now what's next? Well, for my purpose, if I'm gonna memorize this whole list, I gotta memorize everything across the board. I gotta memorize where the headquarters are, the sector, the revenue, all that stuff, employees. So I'm gonna show you how I would then layer on extra information on the locations that we just placed images on. So we've laid a foundation with just the names of the companies and we could stop there. If that's all you care about, just this list of companies, cool. Just continue on memorizing the company. But if you wanna add more data, I'm gonna show you how to layer that on top. So I'll do a few examples and then you'll get the idea. Then I'm gonna switch gears and just go for the whole, the whole thing. Let's see, the first one, Walmart, is Bentonville, Arkansas. And what I'm gonna do is add to the image that I already have there. So a Walmart is inside there. Um, now I'm gonna add some imagery for the headquarters and then for the number of employees and the gross revenue. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of continue on a little story about this Walmart business in there. So Bentonville, Arkansas. So Bentonville, I think of something being bent and there's an arc. So maybe there's an arc for sale that'll help me remember Arkansas and it's bent out of shape. Bentonville, Arkansas. Now for this one, I said that I would just memorize how many employees they had because it was the, one of the only two that had millions. 2.3 million, you know, I'll maybe remember the two, three. My image for 23 is Jesus Christ. And then 572 is Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> I don't have him there by choice. That's just, just how it, how it is. I'm not a, I don't like the brush them at all. That, it, I, I can remember him. Anyway, so inside here, we have the bent arc. Jesus Christ is sitting on it with Rush Limbaugh. 2.3 million and 572 billion. Okay, next one is Amazon. That one is Seattle, Washington. See, that one I just know. So I don't even have to worry about that. And my numbers here are 1.6 million. So I can think of 16 and 470 for the billion gross revenue. So that 16 is Arnold Schwarzenegger and then 470 is Frieza from uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. So I can imagine here in this pile of boxes is Arnold Schwarzenegger and Frieza battling it out to the death. All right, then Apple, it's Cupertino, California. Again, I know that one, so I'm not gonna memorize it. And then I have 154,000 and 366 billion. So 154 in my system is a pony and 366 is Morticia Adams. So on this apple is a pony being ridden by Morticia Adams. Okay, I think you get the idea. I'm not gonna go through all 10 of the companies that we just went through. That's not the point of this video. This was just to give you a little bit of a flavor of how I would have approached such complicated data. All right, so now that you have an idea of how I would go and lay down all this information, now you just do that over and over again. I've done the first 10, now I just need 10 different areas of 10 each and kind of repeat the process. The first time through to get all the information in your head usually feels like a lot of work. It's probably the most draining. But once you have it there, now it's just a matter of playing the game, going around, whether you're doing it in person or in your mind, and just reviewing. Review, review, review. When the information is this large, reviewing is key. I'm really enjoying just memorizing the companies. That's the foundational part of this information. So maybe I'll just go and get all of that out of the way. And then I can always go back and add this data later. Because what I could also do is, once I put down all the companies, all 100 or 99 of them, I don't necessarily have to play the game to put the rest on it because I'll know it so well, I can just always go in my mind and just add the extra details to cover the stuff that I need to add on top of that. Now, just so you don't bore yourself to tears with this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and memorize the rest of these companies, just their names, and then I'll show you that I got them memorized so you know that this stuff works. Cue the montage of me studying all of these while playing. It's just gonna look like I'm playing video games, but, <laughs> but hey, this is, this is the process, all right. Yes. Microsoft, Costco Wholesale, in the right place, Cigna, no. AT&T, Cardinal Health, in the right place, Chevron you. Corporate, Home Depot over here, Always stay up all Green night. Food, Hawaii. Watch the neon light. Touch your ones like I'm numb. High beats like a drum. I think I've got it. All right, so I'm gonna go through all 100. Let me turn down this stupid Mario music. Okay, so from the top, we have 
uh, Walmart, Amazon, Apple, CVS Health, United Health Group, Exxon Mobil, um, Berkshire Hathaway, Alphabet, McKesson Corporation, uh, Amerisource Bergen. Then we go over to Microsoft, Costco Wholesale, Cigna, AT&T, Cardinal Health, Chevron Corporation, um, uh, Home Depot, Walgreens, Boots Alliance, um, Marathon, Petroleum, and then Elevens. All right, this goes on for quite a bit. I nail most of it. I make a tiny little mistake on the pronunciation of one or two, but other than that, I got it. So if you wanna watch this in full, you can click the link in the description to see the full presentation. Then Nucor and Exelon. Is that it? Was it Northwestern Mutual? Damn it. Whatever. That was good enough for like a half hour gone through this. With a few more passes, I would have it lickety split. And what's nice is I could then go back and try to test myself on, hey, what was the 20th business? What was the 99th business? What was the 50th one? I could tell you right now that it was, uh, it was a MetLife. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this finance video and that you learned a few things about finance, but also about how a memory champion would memorize some big amount of information. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I guess this was just an homage to one of my favorite games of all time, an excuse to make a video about video games. <laughs> Anyways, my battery's gonna die. I gotta get out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Oh, and if you're not subscribed, if you're new around here, please like. Share, subscribe, hit the little bell notification thing so you know when I post a new video, which I'm really trying my freaking best to post more of this year. I promise I'm doing my best. I will. Okay, gotta go. Bye.